Good morning, brothers and sisters. I just want to make a video and address a, a couple of issues here. Um, a video that I made yesterday, I tell you, it sure had a lot of trolls um, that made comments on it. And I'm glad that I got some trolls that take their time to watch my videos. Uh, hopefully one day the Holy Spirit will prick their heart and convict them of their foolishness. And um, hopefully they'll get saved and join us when the uh, rapture takes place. So um, I just want to make a comment for anyone who watches this video. Uh, who likes to say that there's no such thing as a rapture because the word rapture is not in the Bible. Uh, obviously, those uh, who state that have obviously has not taken the time to even search that because if they would search it, they would realize that the word rapture is in the Bible. It may not be in the King James Version translation, but the word rapture or harpazo, whichever way you want to translate it, is in the Bible. So much for that. Um, you know, let, let, me, uh, let me just start by saying this. Be, uh, since we're living in the year 2016, you know, we, we are truly at the very end of this. We are right at the very end of the 6,000 years that God has given mankind to have his way in his dealings. And God is about to bring a total end to this when he sets up the 1,000 year millennial reign of Jesus Christ. Now, <clears throat> what I want to reiterate is this, that there is still seven years left of unfulfilled time that is to the Jews only. And see, that's where, and that is one extremely important uh, truth of God's word that we so easily overlook. God has got seven years that is unfulfilled that he is going to deal directly with the Jewish people. And the bride of Christ is not going to be on this earth during that time. The bride of Christ, which is the church, those who are blood-bought, born again, who love Jesus Christ with all of their heart, whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, who loves Jesus more than they love themselves. Those people are part of the Bride of Christ, and they will be in heaven with Jesus while this stuff is going on earth. It is uh, if you will allow the Holy Spirit to reveal this to you, it is plain as day in the New Testament, words that Jesus said, word that the apostles wrote, the book of Revelation plainly says that we will be around God's throne. We will get to see the opening of the seals. In chapter 4 of Revelation, John experienced it. He said, I heard a, there was a door opened up in heaven, a door opened in heaven, 
the first voice I heard was like a trumpet, which said, come up here. And he said, I was immediately in the spirit. John experienced the snatching away. The door was open. As Jesus explained in the parable of the uh, virgins, the wise were ready and left. The foolish was also left here on the earth while the wise left the earth. And the Bible says, Jesus said, and the door was shut. So, you know, you got people who just choose not to believe. And I had a dear sister make a comment to one of these trolls and they just, this person just attacked her and it broke my heart. I wanted to make, <laughs> I wanted to make a comment so bad to that troll about attacking my dear sister. Um, and, and, and you know, I, I just, I, I refrain from it. Brothers and sisters, it's not worth your time nor your energy to try to respond to these people because all they want to do is cause disruption and so whatever among us. Just ignore them. Um, you know, but anyway, uh, back to the subject. The days in which we live, there is two facts which is staring us in the face. One of which <clears throat> is that we are in the 120th Jubilee, which will end October first week of October. Now, after that starts a, ha a, a, a whole new set of, uh, a, a whole new set of sabbatical, okay? Now, the uh, prophet Judah ben Samuel gave us the time frame that was given to him by Elijah. And the absolute latest would be the year 2017. But it's at the end of his prophecy, it states that we would be in the, the uh, Messianic end times. In the Messianic end times, you're going to have the temple being rebuilt. Now, for those that think that, or for those who have said and think that we're going to be here the next 20 or 30 years, the next 10 years, <laughs> I just tell you what, you just Google or do a little research on how the Jews are about to build their third temple. And friend, I can tell you what, when that temple is built, if you think for one minute that they are gonna get to enjoy the next 20 years uh, having sacrifices in their temple, you got another thing coming. Because first of all, uh, when they start trying to sacrifice animals in that newly built temple, the animal rights activists, they're not going to put up with it. If you think they're going to get to uh, sacrifice doves and lambs and, and other animals on that sacrifice, uh -uh. they ain't going to put up with that. I can just tell you right now. 
uh, you know, we're protecting spotted owls and, and, and other endangered uh, species and creatures. And uh, the way that, you know, that we care about, you know, the feelings of animals and, and the way that animals are being, you know, killed so that we can eat meat for food. And if you think they're going to be allowed to sacrifice animals to be part of a religion, that ain't happening. So, you just, I mean, you know, if you just think about these things in real life, you know, if you just think about it, you know, it all makes sense. But, it, it, but you know, we just get this, this crazy thinking that, oh, you know, uh, we're going to be here. You know, Jesus ain't never coming back. And the signs are staring us in the face. The problem is you don't care enough to find out for yourselves and you don't realize that what you're doing is jeopardizing your eternal soul. And you know, I know this video may not necessarily be feeding anyone who enjoys a video and but I suppose you could just say this video is may probably just mainly for those that are crazy enough to just ignore the signs so I reckon I can just go ahead and dedicate this video to those men and those trolls from yesterday and um you know, one of them made a comment. Uh, I won't even. I won't. I won't even address that. It, it was just. <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, the comments that these people can make, and what so what is so heartbreaking to me is that the only reason I even make these videos is so that someone can watch them and open their eyes to realize the days in which we live and yet you know they're so i don't know i don't i'm not gonna call them stupid but they're just so naive that that they they would rather just make some off the wall comment than even search what's going on in our world anyway well god bless y'all and <laughs> you need to find out what's going on in your world because uh jesus is about to come god bless y'all